Hello guys and welcome to RTFI Pro. Today's topic that we will be discussing is film latitude and its properties. To provide a better understanding, we need to know some important properties of radiographic film. So we have two types of film. There will be a slow film and a fast film. To break it down, we need to understand its definition, its contrast, its latitude, and grain size. First, for the slow film, if you have good definition, it's because the grain size is small. Good definition, like D2, D3, D4. But with good definition, contrast is high, which makes latitude narrow. In contrast, when we use a fast film, the definition becomes poor, mainly due to large grain size in the film structure. The contrast will become low, which makes the latitude wide. So what is latitude? Film latitude is the range of materials thicknesses that can be seen on a radiograph. Basically, how well different thicknesses are seen on a radiograph within density. As contrasted radiograph increases, film latitude decreases. As the contrasted radiograph decreases, the film latitude increases. So basically, contrast and latitude are not proportional to one another. It is important to choose a film that has enough contrast and latitude necessary for performing the required inspection. Objects with multiple thickness changes will require a film with wide latitude and in some cases a few radiographs are required to be taken for getting the required density. In industrial radiography, film latitude is an important parameter as the density of welds and object thickness can vary inconsistently within a radiograph. These inconsistencies are more noticeable when expecting valve welds, transition welds, and castings of variable thicknesses. Figure 6.9 provides an example of the film with poor latitude on the top, which is improved on the bottom by applying any of the following methods. One, use a lower contrast film, a faster speed upon contractual approval. For example, D5 has more latitude than D3 or D4. 2. Increase the energy level. Iridium provides more latitude than selenium and a higher KV x-ray will provide greater latitude than a lower KV. 3. Multi-load film exposure with the same or different film speeds. 4. A multi-load film exposure for a composite view with the same or different film speeds. The methods I just discussed will improve or if applied with its opposite, it will reduce your latitude depending on what your radiographic technique is trying to accomplish. Well folks, this concludes another one from RTFI Pro. We look forward to seeing you next week for another video. Until then, work safe, expand your knowledge for an increased reliability of inspection.